Now, the industry is not particularly good at that, and I can quote from my own experience as a civil servant, uh, whenever an industry lobbyist would come, they would also always ask for company-specific, very sector-specific advantages. And since everybody does that, you discount all of it. Um, I think the industry should highlight the more general benefits of the, the, the sort of the benefits of looking at medical technology as an investment rather than a cost driver um, before trying to get their sort of own personal thing in there because that tends to irritate civil servants and politicians. They get just too much of that self-serving lobbying to, for any of it to be credible. Well, there are different trends which are actually exercising um, forces on the medtech industry. If you look at the external environment, um, clearly um, there is a very uh, uh, accelerated uh, trend towards aging population. If you look at the uh, proportion of people who will be over 65 in 10 years' time, it's a big number. And, and with that, you know, um, you've got an increase of chronic disease and uh, a need for more treatment. At the same time, in parallel, because of the financial crisis, uh, the austerity program, it's true that uh, budgets are not going to be able to expand that much. So the dilemma is that more patients will need treatment and, and the same money or less money will be available. And um, that's one challenge in itself. I don't think that um, uh, we cannot find a solution for that because back to the previous question where we said what we bring to the table is tools and devices based on innovative solutions which are helping people to be more efficient. So I think that we can really help um, governments and healthcare systems to treat um, more patients with the same amount of money by bringing innovative, cost-effective solutions. But we have to make that um, much stronger in terms of visibility and awareness in the eyes of the policymakers.